Hi, this is Jennifer Priest on the Samantha Walker Creative Team. And today I'm going to share with you just a really quick trick um, that I use when I'm working with files that have multiple pieces that I want to cut in different colors. So the first thing I'm going to do is select my shape here on the um, software. And this is actually the free shape this month for Samantha Walker. And you can find out how to uh, get this shape for free by going to our blog hop that is this month here in January 2013. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is ungroup this shape. And so what that's going to do is separate all these major pieces out together. Now, once they're separated from one another, um, I can really easily just change the color of the lines. And this way, I like to kind of design my project in the software. So maybe I'll cut this out of light blue, and I could fill it too if I wanted, just so that then I can kind of play with my design some. This one I'll do in that blue color. Maybe I'll do this little guy in purple. And so I'm just going to click on the fill button to fill it, and then the line button to change the color of the line. And then maybe this last little guy here, I'll do him in yellow. And now you can kind of stack your items to see what they're going to look like. And to select more than one, I'm just going to click in the upper left and drag down to the lower right. Slide that on top of here. And then I'll put this guy here in the middle. So if I like the way that that looks, I can go ahead and cut. And I'm not going to use that little circle that was there in the center. So I'll move this over here to the upper left of my um, mat. But before I cut, what's going to happen is if I wanted to cut right now, it's going to cut everything out and it'll cut it all out of each piece of paper. So what I'm going to do is go here to the little scissors, and that's the cut style window. And here it's going to show me everywhere that's a bold red line is where it's going to cut. What I can do is just put no cut for the things I'm not going to cut right now. So let's say I'm just going to cut this larger piece out of that blue paper, or the greenish blue paper. Um, I will go ahead and set my silhouette to to only cut that outside line. Go ahead and go to my cut command button here to send it to the silhouette and then I'll go ahead and cut. And my silhouette's not plugged in right now, but um, I'll go ahead and cut that out of green. And then when I'm ready to go to the next color, I will change it so that I'm not gonna cut that outside one, but I'll cut the next one in. Whoops. Yeah, maybe that's the one that I'll cut. All right, so I'll cut the yellow next. And you'll just keep changing the cut line that you have selected each time you're gonna change your paper. So this way it doesn't cut out a bunch of extra pieces you don't need, and you, don't, you can kind of design your whole shape right there in the software without having to um, you know, try to visualize it yourself with all the pieces. All right, I hope that that was a helpful video for you on how to use your silhouette. Uh, Cameo software. And if you're going on our blog hop, I'd love if you would go back to my blog and continue hopping um, to see all the projects that the rest of the team has created.